sometime around 2003-2004, uh, the GPS started to infiltrate its way into the system. We only had six then, six GPS. Uh, then we now have you know, every player measured. So that means more staff, uh, it means more data, it means making sense of the data that we have. Um, it means decisions are being based on the data. It means that coaches don't always go with gut feel because the sports science guys say, well, no, that's not factual. This is what the measurements are saying. But it has changed the way we operate and uh, a lot of our interchange and a lot of our training decisions are based around GPS. So I guess broadly it's for two things. It's performance analysis and also kind of injury prediction or prevention. That's one massive part of GPS that people don't necessarily know about. So we're trying to use that information to predict players who are at high risk of subsequent injury. So we have individual kind of thresholds that we know, okay, if a player's above this over the course of a week, they're at significantly increased injury risk. I really enjoy it as a player because you can you can benchmark yourself and you know when you've hit some high numbers that you've really had a crack. So it's a sense of accountability and I'm trying to educate our players to live in that space because um, we are watching through the GPS but it shouldn't be one of fear, it should be, you should embrace it as a challenge. So um, having said that, I think the boys worry a little bit if they don't play well in the GPS as low. Every training session on the field and every game, including waffle, uh, is tracked so the players wear their GPS. So that's something like uh, 140, 150 files have to be downloaded a week. Then all of those are analysed for distance, speed, acceleration, um, anomalies uh, determined. Um, uh, the job is nearly two, two staff uh, full time. Uh, over the course of a week, so it's pretty, it's pretty massive. Okay, so is this your, this is, this your, is your GPS distance yeah. covered access? Basically my job every day is just to collect all the units, make sure they're all charged, ready to go, um, then once we come out on the ground, uh, just make sure again they're all on, get them on all the guys, um, and yeah, and then just, that obviously collects all the data, distances and stuff, and then after training we analyse all the data, and give it to the coaches and use it to uh, implement training. Thanks, Ash. Oh, it's, it's important for a midfielder to compare yourself to, to certain players, um, to previous games, and it's something you can draw upon if you're going through a, a tough patch and you might not be finding as much of the footy as, you, as you'd like or getting to as many contests. You can look back and really monitor how you're going and whether you need to train harder or train less. And, uh, it's become an important part of our game and you've got to definitely embrace it. At the end of the day, it's been a worthwhile addition to, to the program. Thanks, Matt.